Hey guys, it's Final Master Link, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Uh, this time, we are actually going to go to... I get... I don't really... I don't want to call it Robo's side quest. Uh, I guess it's more Luca's side quest than anything, really. Uh, so if you go to 600 AD in the Middle Ages... You, may, you might recall that swirling, uh, I guess, sandstorm in the middle of the desert. Uh, the thing right there in the ground. Yeah, so you can actually access it right now, sunken desert, yeah. Sounds about right. Uh, first thing I actually want to do is, first of all, give, uh, give Luca her weapon. As you can see, 182, that's, uh, that's pretty strange. Or, that's pretty strong. But, uh, like I said, the random is, uh, the weapon is random when it hits the enemy. But actually, I'm just gonna give her that and pull her out of the party for a bit. Reason why is because I want... And you know what, I'll put Frog in there. You want to have a character that knows some kind of a water magic, so either... So either Marl, Frog, or Magus will do. So if you go to Fiona's villa here, we talk to her. She'd be like, my husband Marco is finally home. I I'm so relieved. Marco, don't worry, I'm home for good. Yeah, right. Just wait until WW2. Or the Crusades. I guess that'd be a bit more appropriate for the time period. Desert monsters are draining the life out of the soil here. This mystic seedling could revive the forest, but I can't plant it. Too many hungry monsters lurking, lurking about. And eh, we'll take care of them. So yeah, if you did not tell the woman in 12,000 BC to plant the the sapling or whatever, this would not happen. So if you haven't done that, go do it. She's still there. So what you want to do is fall down here. There's, there's some good uh, amount of chests to be had here too, so... Also a good amount of uh, enemies to kill. Uh, they can be difficult if you don't have water magic, but if you do have water magic, they should be fairly easy. Sand Cyclone, huh? I still love how Ayla's just, like, glowing yellow. I don't suppose you can get anything good from this guy. From, or from these enemies. So yeah, the thing with this is that, um, if you don't use water, their defense will actually be very high. And by using the water spells, it makes it lowers their defense. I guess it like dissolves the sand uh, barrier or whatever they have. I don't know. It's a game, so I try not to think too much about it. Of course, lowering their defense won't help your accuracy, so that's another uh, that's another thing altogether. And that thing reminds me of the what was it called, the crawly or whatever that was in uh yeah shit. I use a full tonic on Ayla real quick. I should be able to finish off this hexapod. Yeah. Now, like I said, those things kind of remind me of the crawly or whatever that we faced in the in the sewer way back when. Hell yeah, we're getting some levels now, bitches. Of course, you know, you're, you're going to face them a bunch of times. I'm just going to skip these ones. Alright then. Uh, that's out of the way. Oh, another thing I never did... I never equipped it that, um... Well, I suppose I could do that right now. I'm sure it involves Chrono. I never equipped that silver rock. Or wait. Oh no, I guess does it just does just carrying it make you do that? Let me see. Oh, surely there's a faster way there. Oh, get down there, goddammit. Invokes triple tech spin strike. It says it's an accessory. I guess it's not for uh, Chrono. I'll have to figure that out at some point. I'll, I'll show it off eventually. Uh, who's this guy? Oh, more of those guys. Okay, another fight. Another one bites the dust. Or the sand. Whichever, whichever's funnier. Get that fucking chest, damn it. Get the chest. Jesus Christ. Uh, there's actually a power tab in here, I think. Or a couple tabs. First, let's take care of these assholes. 
Okay, then. Where was I? Oh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of chests around here. You wanna grab them. Or try to. It's kind of retarded with the sand pushing against me. There, there's an elixir there. And I wanna get this one over here, too. Hey, you know what? I'm just gonna leave this fight, uh... And it's gonna be pretty short because of this hit right here. And I wanna target it just right. Really? I can't hit... Oh, well, I'll get two out of the three, then. Yeah, this falcon hit on these guys after you cast water magic on them. It fucking annihilates them. It rips through them like fucking butter. It's just crazy. And then Crown is like, Bitch, I'll kill you. Halo's like, No, I'm gonna kill you with my bare fists. And then that's, and then that's how the hexapods were wiped out from existence. Boys and girls. Alright, finally, let's get the last one. Aeon suit, huh? I don't suppose there's like an enemy towards the middle. Oh. I thought I got that, uh. chest. Well, I did now. Oh, pfft. Oh, what the fuck are. Th oh, I, have, I actually haven't seen these before. I don't suppose you have to. Oh. Oh, they're nothing. Let's just kill them then. Oh, well, maybe they have, a uh, pretty good evasion. Hmm. They must be if Ayla can't hit them. Then again, I can't imagine fighting in, like, sand dunes, so... I mean, that could be why. And I'm not, I'm not used to walk, to walking on sand dunes and stuff like that. Or hell, for all I know, this is quicksand. Alright, so we go these go down these stairs here. I want that chest. Full tonic. I believe the I believe the boss is coming. Okay. Yep, they sure have. Yeah, it is a hard to find monster. Actually we've kind of faced it before, I guess you could say. That's somewhat disturbing. Memory cap. I guess it's trying to butt fuckers or something. I don't know. Aeon helm. I'm gonna get all the chests first, damn it. Give me it. Oh, 5,000 G's, huh? Muscle ring, huh? Actually, I think I might equip that to Ayla. Shit. Oh, wait. Eh, uh, maybe not. Eh, actually, fuck it. Never mind. I'll probably give to... Marl or something before she gets her ultimate weapon. Alright, where is that fucker? I actually wanna... Yeah, I actually wanna fight him this time. You kinda have to, anyways, to proceed with the... The side quest. Alright, so the thing with this... Uh, also, it's a bit beneficial if you brought Ayla, because she can charm, uh... Something from the... This is the core, I think it's called. Something like that. Basically, what you want to keep doing is attacking the middle, that's about it. And what you want to do is you want to cast water. I, I don't think it really matters which one. I don't think it really counterattacks. See, I, you see, as you can see, the defense power is actually down. And what happens is that the head and uh, the torso and the legs will actually take uh, hit points away from the core. That's kind of how you That's kind of how you win, because it can't survive without the core. So you see, it's going to keep doing that. See? Like, the fight's already kind of won now. Because as long as it doesn't have... Oh yeah, the defense is actually up to one attack. So what you want to do is you want to... You kind of want to fiddle around with... Um, oh shit, there's a full tonic on Ayla. You want to fiddle around with the water. Like hit it, like hit him a couple times with the water too. And then uh, hit him a couple times regular. Actually, I, I could probably do a combo or something. Sand Cyclone, that doesn't sound nice. Nah, no, that wasn't that bad, I guess. Like I'll probably use like Falcon on it. That'll probably do a shit ton of damage. Yeah, actually I'm gonna... Actually... Since you're just standing there, Chrono, just, uh, have a full tonic, what the hell. And shit, Ayla, have a full tonic, too, goddamn. See, Frog can just, like, cast heal on himself, so. Uh, maybe I should give him a, yeah, I'd better give him a hand or something. Oh, shit, I forgot how much damage, uh, or how much magic it costs to cast water, too. Ah, oh, shit, you're gonna kill Frog. Nope, you actually didn't, okay. Well, I, I know... I'm probably gonna regret this, but, uh, no. 
I, I can only attack one at uh, both. Both. I could have sworn I could have done uh, Falcon Hit for both of them. You know, fuck it then. Attack them one at the time, one at a time. If that's the case. Oh jeez, they weren't kidding when they said power up. Ah, uh, they're gonna kill Frog now. I know it. I know it. I know it. They killed Frog. Those bastards. And now they're gonna eat Chrono. <laughs> fuck, he's he died too. What? What the fuck? God, I underestimated this fight. God damn. Oh, don't, don't kill Ayla. Don't kill Ayla. I love Ayla. Okay, good. Jesus. God, I didn't get on top of my game. Oh, bullshit. Well, at least he didn't attack Chrono. I, I just would have called bullshit on the game. It didn't even give me a chance. Alright, as long as Ayla survives, that's fine. Alright, cool. Let's see, what do I want to do here? Full tonic, probably, to both of us. Yeah, cheap power using full tonic. Well, actually, they're not even full. Because I know Chrono has more than 550 HP. I mean, I fucking know that shit, man. Don't be pulling off that shit. Ah, oh, fucking hell. God damn it. Uh, that's not gonna do a lot of good, Chrono. Sorry. It just isn't. Alright, let's revive Frog. So he can actually help us, you know, get somewhere in this battle. Oh, wait. I want to... Give him a full tonic. And I'm gonna let Ayla, Ayla die, I guess. Sounds... Oh, I... Fucking hell! You fucking suck! God damn. Alright, I'm gonna run out of full tonics now, people. I'm gonna have to get, like, you know, 30 more. I mean, what the fuck? God damn. Also, I need to get Frog more magic points. God damn it. Fine. You know what? Take a full ether. I'm not gonna use him probably until I fight Lavos anyway, so... Ah, fucker. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch! Anyone else think his, uh, you know, time bar is just a little bit too fast? Because that's what I'm thinking. Personally. Uh, I give to Halo, what the hell. Water 2. See, I, I, I say get rid of the top first. Because if you get rid of the top, then, um... I think you can't uh, cast a lot of its spells or whatever. I should have I should have put Halo on him, that's what I should have done. Because I think Halo's far stronger than Chrono is. Oh, for fuck's sakes. You cocksucker. You fucker. You fucker. Alright, where's the revives? There they are. Fucking game. And you see, I thought I was leveled up enough to actually pull... Aw, oh, for fuck's sakes! That was bullshit! Fuck! Okay, game... Okay, ch game... That's a little cheap. Someone has to admit that that's a little cheap. Not... He wasn't even alive for three seconds and he just killed him. That's fucking cheap. I mean, come on, game. And now he's gonna kill Frog again! Fuck! I'm seriously getting pissed off now. And I thought this was just gonna take, like, you know, maybe 14 minutes. But no, I can already tell it's gonna take, like, 20 minutes now. Just what I fucking need. I'm using all my full tonics, too. For fuck's sakes. Alright, water two. You know what, Ayla? Use, use fucking Dino Tail. Doesn't, doesn't that hit them both? Yeah, use Dino Tail on that fucker. Fucking rape him. With your Dino Tail, that is. I wanna see him die. Come on. Of course, he doesn't die at all. I really have to look up how much health these guys have, and I could kind of guesstimate when the fight could possibly end. But right now, I, I don't have a fucking clue, to be honest. You know what, let's use a med tonic for once. Keep on complaining about using full tonics when that's the only healing item I'm using, shit. I actually give one to Frog. And you use water too. God, if you, honestly, whoever's watching this, if you just want to skip ahead, like maybe five minutes, I... I don't blame you. Because I, I just don't, I do not see how I could possibly make this entertaining. I honestly don't. Yeah, it looks like he's like raping him underneath the sand or something. Like, what's up with... Oh, for fuck's sakes! Fuck. And the thing is, I'm almost at revives, too. Fuck. I know one thing, I have to fucking use a full tonic on Frog. Otherwise, he's gonna get butt raped again. And he uses that fucking stupid disco ball move. Like, what the fuck's that supposed to be? What does he think it is, 1976 or something? Use water too. It would help if it did a it, it would help if the water two did at least a little damage. Like like even a hundred, that'd be nice. Come on, use Dino Tail and finish this fucker off. Come on. Oh come on. At least at least one half should be dead by now. Come on, game. Now it's gonna do that shit again. That fucked up shit. Brown doesn't like that. Personally, I I agree with him. I don't like that shit either. 
know what? Dino tail your ass. You have a full tonic to Ayla. Surprised he's not going after a frog right now. I mean, I mean that did like 1,500 damage last time. Unless I, uh, the top it did at least 1,600. You see, 2,000, 2,000. Oh, for fuck, fucking hell, game. That was cheap. I'm not gonna lie. Triple kick, huh? Triple kick in the balls. Maybe that's what she learned. Frog squash, huh? Dual attack, drop kick. Triple tech, three, three D attack. I bet that's, I bet that's good. I gotta try that. Bad bones gone. Fiona happy now. That's a pretty simple way of putting it. But you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. So if you go back, oh, shit. If you go back here, uh, if I remember to the right, yes, there it is. There is a power tab there. Nice, right? So let's go. Let's get the fuck out of this thing. First thing we're gonna do is, uh. Shelter. And save the game. Shit, 19 minutes. Fucking hell. There's like another thing that goes along with this, too. And thank you for writing the boost. Unfortunately, it'll take centuries to revive the forest. Well, if you're pessimistic, yeah, I'm sure it would. Oh, yeah, that's right, I have to, uh... Yeah, so in order to solve this, you actually have to switch in Robo. And, uh, actually, I'm gonna switch in Luca here, too. And so if we go back, if we talk to her again... Robo will be like, you can come for me when the job is done. And so, yes, he actually asks you, can I stay behind and help Fiona? Sure, why not? So, literally, this is what happens. Robo, as you can see, he turned himself into a tractor or something like that. And so he's plowing the fields, planting the trees, all that bullshit. You know, pissing in the, pissing in the glory sun or... I don't fucking know. So he does that, and then Fiona just kind of sits on her hat. Sits on her ass. Well, you'll forgive me in the future. And, uh, let me tell you... <laughs> he's spreading seeds. Actually, I think you get different animations when you go in and out of a building. Or is there just two? I don't know, there's three. He's, first he's plowing the fields, then he's spreading the seeds, and then he's, I guess, watering. I mean, man, I, I could sure use Robo when I'm playing Harvest Moon, let me tell you. Yeah, I like the different animations. It's cool. And so, if you go 400 years to the future... See ya, Robo. So, like, look at all this forest. I mean, holy shit. Look at it. It's fucking awesome. I, I always love this part of the game. Yeah, the boss is a real pain in the ass, but... Like, I like the effect that you can bring on the environment and everything. The music just, you know, adds the... Adds to the... Reward that you get at the end. So if you go to here, this is Fiona's Shrine. Oh uh, yeah, we know it's Fiona's Shrine. We don't have to... Yeah, yeah I'm not gonna go there. The remains of the lofty robot are enshrined at the inner s in the inner sanctum, huh? Here's a hat made from a magical bow filled with mystical forest powers. Oh yeah, so what you can do here is you can actually buy like the best uh, hats in the game, I guess you could say. They're pretty nice. And so there's protect status, prevent stop slow, prevents lock, prevents chaos. O honestly, all these hats are good. I think divert the Vigil hat is the best hat in the game, if I remember right. But as you can see, it's really fucking expensive. I can only afford one right now, I think. All right, can I? Yeah, I can only afford one. So, <laughs> you know, unless I get rich or anything. Well, I'm sure there's some way to get money in this game that I just can't think of at the moment. So yeah, that's how you get the really good hats in the game, without having to look for them. So if you go up here... I guess... If you move, uh, Robo slightly downward... You'll hear a little thing. Sounds like a rat in a, in a maze or something. Systems reactivated. Where am I? You're in the future, buddy. It's like, ah, Chrono, how nice to see you. 
For you, it was a quick hop, but for me, 400 long years have passed. The effort was worth it. The forest has grown back. Now let us celebrate our 400th year re reunion. I mean, I this episode kind of reminds me of the episode in Futurama. With, uh... <laughs> I like how Magus is just on the tree over there, just kind of trying to be emo like Vegeta or something. Actually, you know what? Fuck that story. I'm going to read the dialogue. It's much more meaningful. After 400 years of experience, I have come to think that Lavos may not be responsible for the gates. What do you mean? I have come to think that someone or something wanted us to see all this. The different events over time that we have witnessed, it is almost as if some entity wanted to relive its past. Ayla, no. When people die, elders say, see whole life pass by. Tis true that mortals do relive their most profound memories before death claimeth them. Yet those memories more often are sad ones. Thinking things like, if only I had done this, or I shouldn't have done that, triggers unpleasant old memories. Will that happen when our time comes? Probably. Who knows? Is there a point in time you'd want to return to, Luca? No, not really. I'm sorry, was that something I shouldn't have asked? Probably. I mean, you know, for all we know, she could have been abused or something. It's okay, it's just something I didn't like to think about too much. Lavas plays an integral role in the fortunes of this entity. So who is this entity? Good question. It is unknown whose memories these are. It may be something beyond our comprehension. Our journey may come to an end when we finally discover the identity of the entity. Shall we turn in for the night? Yeah, it's probably enough uh, soul searching tonight. If you can call it that. So, like I was saying, uh, this like this part in the game always reminds me of that episode in of Futurama where Bender like I think like goes to sleep or something for like a thousand years or something, and and then they like dig him up or whatever, and they ask him, Bender, what was it like to be in there for like a thousand years? And he's like, Oh, I was enjoying it until you guys showed up. Like, what a fucking cock. So you play as Luca right now, and if uh, if you go over here, some shit will go down. It's like there's a time gate. A rose, red color time gate. Maybe crimson, I guess you could say. And so... Conveniently enough, this kind of ties into, uh... What more or less Luca, Luca earlier. Did I make it back to that moment? Yep. Uh, let's see, 624-990 AD. Dad promised to go hiking with me, but blew me off again. Do it as work. I hate science. I loathe it. Well, that's a word I sure didn't know when I was, uh, when I was that, you know, when I was that old. Then again, I don't know how old she is, but, I don't know, maybe she's like 10 or so. The password is the name of my lovely wife. Use it in an emergency. Taban. Taban. Whatever. Or maybe it's like Taboggan. So yeah, this is Lucas' house in the past, and, uh... That's some fucking weird techno music going in the background. I don't know if you guys can really hear it, but it's... It's fucking weird, let me tell ya. Oh, what's this shit? What is this thing? Tipan says to keep away from it, but it's so dusty, I'll just... That doesn't sound like a good idea. Dear me, my skirt, I'm stuck. Luca, help. I can't pull it out. Oh, fuck! Oh shit, shit, shit! Oh fuck, fuck. I gotta get my ass down. Get your ass down there, Luca! God damn it! Get down there, fucker. Enter password, uh. L A R A. Oh fuck. Oh my god. I was gonna just like. I was gonna fucking like burst out in tears. I swear to god. Anyways, after that's over, uh. Look, I guess, cries for a bit. Um, and so here, it feels like I've learned something. I, I'll study machines now. There'll be n no more accidents around here. Technically, there wasn't an accident, but, you know, whatever. So, yeah, you can't go anywhere now. And so that's that.
And uh, if by any chance you didn't know her name or you didn't press the buttons or whatever, then uh, Luca's mom would have her legs tangled, which would normally happens. But we just tame we just changed the timeline of that of, of that event. So, you know that's quite interesting. Luca, you've got a kind heart. You're always thinking of others. Perhaps. What is this? This is for you. It's a piece of amber I created using a sap from a tree in my forest. It took 400 years and a lot of pressure to make. I hope you'll find it useful. And so we obtained the green dream. And that is actually a pretty nice, uh, pretty useful thing to use. Um, what it does, it's an, it's an accessory you can equip. And once per battle, it will revive a character who, who has fallen. So that's pretty nice. It's kind of like, uh, I guess you could say an I guess it's like a fickle sort of revive that you can use. And so, one thing I have to do now is, uh, I mean, I just gotta do it. Before I end off the video, I gotta do this, even though it's like, you know, 29 minutes now. I have to go to Luca's uh, house and see what's going on. Uh, also, interesting enough, if you, uh, ooh, Taban Helm. Hooray. Well, I'll probably equip it later. If you're playing the PlayStation version of this game, you can actually just uh, you you put you push L1, uh, circle R1, and then circle again. That's how you do it because circle X is A in that game. Of course, that's kind of weird, uh, considering her name is Laura and you're you know putting in an O instead of a names. I mean, her name's not Laura or anything. So, so anyways, this is Laura with her legs not mangled. As you might have remembered, she was in a wheelchair at, at like the start of the game. So yeah, now she's a vibrant, uh, active woman nowadays. So yeah, you, that's definitely a f good side quest. Probably one of the best ones. I mean, it's not like she died or anything, but still. I'm sure I'd miss, uh... Shit, I don't know. I don't even know what I, I'd do if I couldn't play videos, video games. I'd probably fucking read or something. Anyways, holy shit, this this episode is so fucking long. I'm half tempted to speed up some of it, actually. Actually, I might do that, like the boss fight. Anyways, I'm not, I'll see you guys later, so bye.